kept you waiting, huh? Snake, is it really true you're gonna be playing Metal Gear Solid 2? I can't wait to see how you're- Metal Gear! Hello, Internet! I'm Amsterdam, Bomb, and you are watching Metal Gear Solid 2! I am so insanely excited to play this game, you have no idea! Ah, yes, we're gonna watch the intro video here because ah, I've got a lot of things I wanna say, and assuming, you know, Metal Gear's not gonna give us any awesome cutscenes for a long time to show us anything about, you know, what the game's gonna be about. The last game I had to watch the intro, so, I don't know, we're just gonna sit back and we're gonna watch it. I don't even know what it's about. Okay, honestly, I've been so, so freaking excited to play this game. Maybe over, like, any other game I've ever played. I don't know why I've built this one up so much, because after going back through Metal Gear Solid and editing all the episodes together, I was getting so, so excited and realized, like, Wow, this game was so much better, now that I actually get back to edit the whole thing, it was so much fun, it was so well written, it was so amazing. Metal Gear Solid holds up to so many other games that are coming out today, and it's, it's crazy how good it was. And moving that same series into the future, it's like, I need to see where this series went. So, that does let you guys know, this is a blind let's play. I don't know anything about Metal Gear Solid 2. In fact, the only Metal Gear game I've ever played, you guys saw completely Metal Gear Solid, which was the original one. So we're gonna be playing the sequel this time. If you guys haven't seen my original playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, I'll leave a link down in the description for that playlist, which is done, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the graphics look so good for PS2. I mean, granted, I'm comparing it to Metal Gear Solid, like I said, guys, so I'm, like, literally comparing this to the last game, because that's what you should do. These are all from their era. All right, never mind, so apparently my recording equipment stopped, so without further ado, let's just start the game anyway. We got the idea. Ooh, so it looks like, uh, yeah, we've got a whole lot of extra stuff in here this time. Um, I'll dig into that stuff later while I'm offline, but for now, let's just start a new game. Woo! Uh, hmm. What? Uh, connect to... Huh, okay. I'm assuming this top option, right? Tanker plant? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on normal. We're, we're definitely normal. Um, select radar type, radar type. Oh, well, let's, let's see. Um, radar in Sons of Liberty appears even during intrusion view. Uh, does not appear during intrusion view, which is like the last game, I think. That's what it means when you're discovered. Radar off. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna go Type 2, because that's what the last game went by, and I, honestly, I think that's more fair, <laughs> you know, instead of letting me stop and collect myself, because that's basically pausing. Well, it's using the radar, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna regret doing that, but I think that's fair. We're gonna play the same way as we did last time. I'm so excited! The story is fictional. Any and all similarities to characters, groups, or... It's not real. The Hudson River, two years ago. David Hayter. We had classified intelligence oh. that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. Metal Gear. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, so excited to do this. George Washington Bridge. Um, that sounds familiar. I'm... Right, I don't really... Whatever, I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's somewhere. Hey, yo. Kojima game. I feel like I've got to play anything with his name on it now because it was that good. Metal Gear Solid was that incredibly good. And also, I want to point out, I didn't notice that when I got the um, Legacy Collection, because I realized that this game is so good I need to play all of it, that um, for Metal Gear Solid uh, 2, 3, and Peace Walker, we're actually playing the HD remakes. I didn't know that! That's so cool! Ah, we're gonna get the good graphics anyway. I believe this is, these are good graphics. I mean, it's set HD remake, and this looks pretty nice. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we have a mysterious character walking down the bridge. I don't know where he's going. I've been working on my David Hayter voice. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I can keep this up for the entire playthrough. I probably won't, though. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to try it all that time. So, um, I do know a little bit about this game, but just a little. Um... And a very little bit. I know eventually we're going to be playing as another character, Raiden. And, um... Right now I believe we're working with Otacon, trying to figure out, like, something about the government using new Metal Gear. I, I don't know. That's literally all I know. And I want to know more. The man on the road started stripping and he's invisible? Is that Snake? 
Do I really get an invisible suit? Oh, one of those, um... Things that Otacon had. They called it something last time. Wow. Alright, he set that up quick. Uh... I was gonna say, this isn't the end and he's like trying to kill himself or anything, is he? No. Never put that bad snake. He's got an idea. He knows what he's doing. I don't know what's up though. Someone should have seen that, right? I hope not. I mean, I guess we're infiltrating on a boat this time, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool, gonna say, kind of cool. I wonder if the whole game takes place on this. How big is this boat? Thank you, Harry, for your music and your ending things, people. And KSNM3. That doesn't uh, tell me anything, unless it's some weird acronym. I have thunder powers! Or is that my uh, suit malfunctioning in the rain? That would make sense, because that's he had a cloak for a while. Maybe it only needed to work for just a minute. I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh, yes. I am sorry. I can't contain my excitement. I literally cannot contain my excitement. I want to get in the gameplay and run around. I don't know what this is going to be like. But the thing is, I don't want the cutscenes to end either. Because I'm too excited about the story. Was that Ocelot? That's Ocelot. He never died. He never died. Soon enough. Oh, wait, what? Alright, great. So they already know I'm here. Or at least Ocelot does. And Ocelot's on the boat. Great. Is it better to just blow the boat up? But, I don't really know the mission, so there's probably a very good reason why I'm here. Oh, man, oh, man. Bam! Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. That one I kind of lost in my throat a bit. Might have to digitally enhance it. There we go. Okay, here we're... Ooh! The new codec. All right. This Hello? Is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything the going sneak okay? Point? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. I was close. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so I forgot bad. about Fox Die. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Uh, give her a message. Uh, U.S. Army Social System. Someone, someone will find yeah. out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Apparently she's okay, gonna get Snake, in trouble. Let's get to work. Whatever she's up to at the moment. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. That makes sense. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. Oh. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. An anti-Metal Gear? What? That's what they made? That... The mission objective Supposedly. is to visual confirmation of the new metal so I have to find transported it. by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. Maybe I start with the but camera, and that's all we got. to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. Bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? Okay. There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method... We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. Very good. All right. I'll head to the bridge ASAP. All right. Try to avoid confrontations. <laughs> Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development okay. and expose it to the world. Exposing it would be best if you could evidence. get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. An anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Okay. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Oh. Oh, well, I was going to say, are we technically working with branches of the government trying to All expose right. other Let's portions of the gear. government? That doesn't make sense. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. Ooh. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Oh. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Yeah. Good suppressor, too. The chemical Ooh. stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. 
the effects of the anesthetic Ooh. round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? I'll find my way through the infrared laser Here's the digital now. camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Alright, so assuming I'm gonna have to actually take photos with it, and that's gonna be important to the game. Pokemon Snap Style. Maybe. Maybe I'm just having fun they with it. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Arnard, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. Isn't that proof enough? No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. Oh, please. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside. That would be a bad idea indeed. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. That it's is in weird. No doubt about it. Oh. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter So much water! Too. Security shouldn't tell you. Hot. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. Yep. Is that where we're heading? Chopper. I thought we were going to the bridge. What? What? Wait a minute. Why? Why? What? Though these are, these are different people. It's not like some sort of mutiny or anything. They're definitely different people. These like okay. Wait a minute. Wait. These must actually be terrorists. It's actually take like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Oh. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. They're literally just throwing the Marines in the hijack. They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Autocom. How many men? to take over a tanker of this size. The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. Well, we already seen well, how many? I could I could guess 18. Yes, seven for you. Can I steal that? It'd be nice to steal. Um oh gosh. Oh god. Wait, what? Music stopped and all. Russian. Take a photo. Take a you photo, sure? man. No marine barber touched that head of hair. That's a Russian head of hair, then? I, I can't identify hairstyles based on you know, ethnicity or vice versa. There you go. Snap it. Snap it. Snap. I'm yes. He did it. I was going to say. I didn't actually do that. That was Snake just actually doing a mid cutscene. I was going to say. Wouldn't it be helpful if we just took a photo of the guy? Thought there was something behind me. Thought there was something back like there. Was theirs now. I can take it. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? How can you hear that? Chopper, right? How can you Each hear that? <laughs> Snake's been in this a little too long, and he understands what things are based on their sound. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? How'd you see that? Not necessarily. Oh. It could be the KA62, the civil model. Look, Snake. All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. What about the... As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything But I happens. like Shadow Moses. The frequency's 141.12. Oh, shoot. Right. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Oh, that's the same as last Sorry, time. That was no Mei Ling. Ling this time. No, Mei Ling. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Okay, so Go why don't I have to call you on I'll different be waiting just past numbers. the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Uh -oh. All right. So, are we finally in live gameplay? Because, because... <gasps> we are. Oh. oh, my God. Whoa. Okay, it's going to take me a while to get used to these controls. Man, okay, so... Wow, look how much life I have! Do you see that? Okay, so this is my, uh, 
Wow. Nice. Okay, that is literally my only weapon right now. What's L1 do? Oh, okay, cool. That's first person mode. Then what's... Alright, triangle I don't think does anything. That used to be my first person. Now it's L1. And L2 is going to switch these out. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm literally just learning this right now, so um, bear with me, guys. AP sensor. Sensor detecting life forms. Vibrates on enemy approach. All of the vibrations will be off when sensor is activated. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know why I would need that, but okay, fair to say. Keep it the nun right now, because smoking is bad for your health. I think that's actually it right now then, so um, let's L, uh, no I'm sorry, this is R2, L2 does nothing, I had it backwards, my right and left is definitely, oh, oh yeah, I didn't try the other buttons, so that's my, oh shoot, wait, what is that, what is that, is that a camera, oh that was a guy looking over the edge, I see him up there on my radar now, I can totally see him, actually I want that thing up, alright, um, I guess we're just gonna, you know, look, oh, there's a guy right there, don't look at me. Don't look at me, dude. Um. Oh, God! Why do I shoot? Wait, am I okay? Come on, snake! Oh, God! Go, go, go! What happened? No, 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 no! Why did this happen already? Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just get out of here. What? Snake, no, don't do that! <laughs> This music sounds kind of weird. It's a little silly. It's different. Um, uh, evasion. Radar no use. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So if I hide, I'll be okay. Supposedly. Oh, good. Oh, good. Nope, there's nobody here. Nobody at all. Never mind. Okay, oh, I see it now. So the green thing on the bottom has to go all the way down. Dang it, man! There's so many people! Okay, this is this is kind of crazy already. There's there's a lot of people in this area. I wish I could uh, see out of here somehow, but I can't. Hey, Snake, what are you doing? Snake, Snake, what are you, snake, what, what are you doing? Alright, well, we're kind of stuck at the moment. Wow, I don't see any way out of here. I, I, oh god, there's a guy right here. I don't know where he is, but he's looking. He's probably above us. Yeah. Okay, okay, this is bad. So, okay, I, I can't get out of here. There we go. Hmm? What? There's somebody there. No. Hmm? Really? <laughs> Ow, at this rate, I just want to start over, man. We just ruined this. I just wanted to see the controls, man. Give me your, give me your gun. Um. Can I? What, what, what are the controls? I gotta do some other things, right? No, that's that's. Ah, man, shoot! Is there nothing else I can do? I can't take his weapon. Oh god! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, how do I get in here? Can I get in here? No, I'm losing shots. Oh! Come on, open it. Um. Did I not call him? I'll oh, find then. Snake. It looks like that door can't be opened from the deck. You can infiltrate the ship through other doors. Alright. Man, I am doing... No! Oh. There could just be a thing that they say. It might not be real, I don't know. If it is, I'm in trouble, because that's a lot. I got caught twice now. They know I'm here. I am, like, the worst at snakes. Oh, can I get that? Can I get that thing? I don't know how. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh man, there's so many people. So so many people. Um. So. I don't even know how to get into. Wow, this radar just won't go down, will it? All right. So we need to find a way in there. There's probably like. Oh, I was running into things. Am I getting like rations? Hopefully, a bandage. Uh, absorbent pads to stop blood loss when. Bleeding. Am I? Ble How do you know when you're bleeding? Press X button. X button to use while having it selected in the window. Okay. Um. And uh, pentezaman. Um, serves as a muscle relaxant. Treats autonomic imbalance. That's probably for shooting snipers, right? That's what it was before. 
I guess I might as well leave that up, and I have nothing else to shoot with. <gasps> There's a guy right up there. So I couldn't find... Oh. oh, that guy's still sleeping. Sleeping on the Java. Maybe, uh, maybe he's got some items, I don't know. Maybe there's ways to actually take items from these guys? I, I have no clue. Ooh! Oh, good, there is a ration! Can I take that thing? Because uh, I already need it. I think. How much does a ration do? Um, okay. Life automatically recovers when down to zero if equipped it. Um, you know, I might as well have it up then. Just, you know, make sure I get the full amount of it. <laughs> okay. That, yeah, that guy is... Is he right here? No, he's he's above us. Now, I'm not used to uh, the controls actually being comfortable. You know, it's weird. Um, granted, it's comfortable enough, but I, I'm still not used to it because I messed up quite a bit of those stairs. He's going down. Don't you tell me he's going downstairs. Where'd that guy go? No. I can go up here now. Oh, wait. That's um, Otacon telling me I can't go in here? Is that right? Same thing as the other door. Come on. Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Oh. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until This is how you open a door, Snake. Go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Oh. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is oh. open. Alright, awesome. So, I'll definitely have to do that. The thing is, we are totally running out of time already because we had a lot of cutscene stuff to take a look at first episode, so I'm really excited to keep playing this game, so thank you guys all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and we will see you all in the next episode of Metal Gear Solid 2. Do you?